she's in the swing, so she's really not upset. She's just. we're gonna jump right into this foundation review I've already done my eyes off camera it's my normal routine and you know I use my Joseph colors Sessa Sienna palette um, I'm getting ready to go to dinner with mom today's her 65th birthday Yay, Sister Patterson. Um, that's what I call my mother uh, because that's her maiden name and she would be the church lady that everybody would be geeking off over so um, I like to call her Sister Patterson and you guys have then started calling her Sister Patterson too so either way I say all that um, I'm using a foundation today because I'm going out and I want to wear a test and you saw my previous um, if you haven't I'll make sure to link it in the cards above but I did a previous foundation review that had very similar stakes in the race and that was a skin like finish so what we're testing out today is the NARS sorry <laughs> the NARS light reflecting advanced skincare foundation so I have my computer in front of me because I kind of wanted to share a little bit of the specs on the product um, this is one fluid ounces it retails for $49 which which is kind of on the higher end of foundation but still kind of slap in the middle because there are foundations that are definitely in the 60 and 80 dollar range um it's a liquid formula good for redness medium coverage natural finish good for dullness and uneven texture and good for dark spots uh it's an advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation honey skincare hybrid natural like what so it quickly blurs and smooths while visibly improving the skin's clarity over time. So you're telling me you're getting two for one. No wonder that price tag is hitting 50 bucks because it's eliminating a step essentially. Um, now I wouldn't say to negate your skincare routine morning or night, but this overall could help just like the finish, honey. Because I mean, I don't have any foundation on right now and I pride myself on really keeping diligent with my skincare, drinks lots of water, minding nine business, you know, all the things that we discuss to keep our skins clear. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm really excited about this one. It's not, it's newer to me, but maybe not new to the market. Um, cause it definitely launched several months ago. I distinctly remember like in the fall that I got it. I know before 2022. So we're going to test it out today. Um, as far as my skin, um, moisturizer I use black girl sunscreen I've really been liking it you guys um if you saw my previous vlog when I finally got my hands on it at Ulta I don't know what the hell my delay was but I really like it as an overall like moisturizer for the day um so I'm going with my Laurier Laura Yang Laura Mercier pure canvas primer this is the blur um version and I'm just gonna press this into the skin like so and my t-zone area is my most um i'm not gonna say problematic but it's definitely the most oily spots on my skin um i have oily combination so uh, the perimeter is relatively dry and you all know you're gonna hear Bo in her jams you know what let me not be distracting let me at least because really it's less about the sound and more about the fruit bouncing around on the screen so I have my uh, primer on, let that sit in the skin and really penetrate. And then I'm going to go in. So just to show you, I kind of did a little bit of a shade test. Um, they sent me, <laughs> uh, Nars, why do you do this to me? Iguachu? <laughs> I'm going to annotate it. I'm so sorry. I hate doing that and not, you know, properly, um, getting the pronunciation and the phonetics of these words but if for quick reference I'm D3 which is dark three which is always going to be a neutral undertone I use it in all of my shades with NARS um I, I believe except the soft matte I'm, I use new Seldonia but nonetheless it works for me so I'm going to go in with a little bit of color correcting under my eyes because I do feel like I have a bit of darkness sis just got back from Atlanta and I did the absolute most so I'm trying to like get back into my regular schedule program so I'm going with my Sigma Spectrum Color Correcting Duo and Dark Deep. 
Um, as you can see here, you have more of the orange undertone tint, so this is going to correct any of the darkness. And then you can put this deeper concealer over top to um, kind of, uh, what is what am I trying to say? Um, what am I trying to say? Orange to correct and put the brown on top, you know, we'll work through it. So I'm going to go in with uh, the darker shade on the left. And I'm just going to place this under the eye to correct before I put on any foundation. And I'm using my Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush in F64. Oh, look. Oh, my God. I love this color corrector. <laughs> but I ended up using the darker one. Um, it is a deep. It does go from dark to deep. And I... I feel like I'm deep, so that's why I'm using the darker one. But if you are dark, which is a little bit lighter than deep, then you could use the orange one. But both of them are going to cancel out any of the darkness, hyperpigmentation. That is what I was trying to find the words. But I don't really need it all over the face. I just need it directly under the eye. Mm, mm, mm. That's really nice. See what it did to my under eye? Woo! And we're using natural daylight right now. I'm not using my ring light because I believe it's oh, it's 4.30, but daylight saving. So the sun is staying out to play a little bit longer. So I'm going to grab my foundation brush. I'm just going to be using my flat kabuki, my F80 from Sigma. Love this for putting on foundations. And I'm just going to squirt two pumps and then just start applying it all over the skin. Like, look at that color match, y'all. That's why, ooh. Definitely could use a little bit. It did say buildable. So I went on ahead and pumped a couple more. So the reason why I like going with this shade, um, because in the winter time, I am more of New Seldonia, is because I like to have a deeper foundation. Because I'm always going to highlight in the middle and it's all going to like blend and come together really nicely. So those who are my uh, color match twins, just know when you first put it on, you're going to be like, oh, maybe it's too dark. But that's just because it's my personal preference to go darker and then highlight in the center. My sister's calling me. So here's the foundation on the skin. I'm trying to get a little bit closer. You can see... I mean, it's a taste darker than my complexion, but I just love looking like a milk chocolate milk dud. Um, and then you'll see what I do when I start to put on my concealer. I'm going to go through my normal uh, makeup application, highlighting, bronzing, um, cheek highlighter, and then I'm going to come back and let you guys see the final finish. Um, the foundation has been on. Uh, now it's 4.36 p.m., dinner is at seven and then we're actually driving to Delaware so um I'm gonna be out for a little bit so then I'll be able to give you a little bit of a wear test but right now the skin is skinning it feels very lightweight I didn't have to do multiple layers as you saw I did two initial pumps and then I did the other pumps for the other side of my face and I'm just kind of blending all of that out but look, as you can see, like my under eyes as well, once I did the color correcting. Oh, I love it. So it works nice with others. That's also something that's super important to me too. So I'm going to go off, finish the rest of my face, and come back, and then we'll talk about um, how I'm feeling thus far. And then, of course, I'm going to come back later on tonight when we have a full, complete wear test. Avery, I can see you creeping in the background. <laughs> I'm right here. I wasn't creeping. I wanted to come on really quick and kind of show you what I mean when I say I go a little deeper with the foundation because I'm always going to highlight in the center of my face. And you know I've been loving one size. This is their Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. I get the shade, I actually have two shades and there's a reason why because they are One's like a taste lighter than the other one. But Dark 3G is the one that's lighter, believe it or not. But Dark, I'm sorry, Deep 1 Neutral Gold is like bay. I use that to highlight under my brow bone, mostly in the center of my face. And then I use the lighter one in the inners. But yeah, I just wanted to show you 
how it's like blending out with the concealer. I am giving Sister Patterson a full face today. I don't even do that for myself, okay? I'm going to use my La Mercy Honey Translucent. This is an OG. And I hardly ever um, deter from using this. I do have some other highlighters here. Huda Beauty is a really nice one. Uh, I don't know where it is right now. You okay, Mama? she's just faking so everywhere I put the concealer is where I'm putting the setting powder you guys know this you know this just so that it doesn't move throughout the day or the evening rather and I don't do too much setting like a baking I'm sorry I don't do too much with the baking I just press it in to the skin just like you saw me do I don't let it sit there for a long period of time I'm not trying to give off ghost okay then I'm just gonna go ahead and talk through the rest of this since she's giving me she's giving me respect right now. Um, I don't contour as much anymore. I'm mostly bronze, so I have my Mocha Mommy Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer by Fenty Beauty, and I'm going with my Contour Blush Brush F53, and I just put that around the perimeter of my face. Just to kind of bring some warmth to the skin. Now, um, I don't really know if this is like controversial or not. Like, do you bronze before setting the face? Do you set the face then bronze? Like, I really think it's just a personal preference. I like to bronze first. So that if I've like overdone it, then I can go in with my setting powder and like mute it. That's just for me. Everyone is different. I love this brush. I actually got this in a PR kit, but I have the original, like the, the black um, barrel head. <clears throat> then I'm going to go in with my large blending brush. Go along my nose a little bit more and like up in my brow bone. Just a little bit. And I'm taking that same along the lower lash line. This turned into a different kind of get ready. Or wear test, rather. How about that? <laughs> I'm just going to... Do what you got to do. Sometimes my lashes like to get into the, the mix. But I just love to put like a little something under the eye. It kind of like brings the whole look together. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to use the same. Um, oh, wait. Sorry. I need to set the face first. So I'm going to set my face with the one size turn up the base versatile foundation powder. I'm in the shade Deep 5, which is neutral. I am literally obsessed with this powder. Um, Patrick put his whole pinky toe in this. I just think it gives such a beautiful finish when I'm not wearing liquid foundation I use it to set my whole face um with, when I just have concealer because it gives you the coverage but a beautiful finish um my friends have noticed it like we've sat at dinner and they're like it's my face and I'm like oh it's a powder <laughs> so I just set the entire face I'm gonna use that same contour blush brush full blush and I'm going to go in with, I'm wearing blue tonight, so I think I'm going to go in with this really um, vibrant orange, which is this, oh, it's Exhibit A. It's a little cult favorite, isn't it? And I'm just going to put it on the apples of my cheek, but also along my cheekbone. I like to kind of do it all the way around. Wow, I haven't seen Exhibit A in a very long time. I didn't know it was in here. I used to wear this a lot back in the day, girl. So I'm wearing blue, like I said. So that, oh, that's so pretty. Then I'm going to go in with my tapered highlighter brush, F35. And I'm going to use Breathless as my highlighter. Just, oh, y'all see it. Y'all see it. Just really complimentary. Like NARS, why not, babe? Why not keep it cute and NARSy? 
and then I have a little bit too much. I like to go back in with that blush brush, kind of mute it, turn down the volume. <clears throat> then I'm going to use, I hardly ever put, um, what is it, mascara on my lower lash line, so I'm not going to do it today, but I am going to find um, a brow pencil. I'm going to do that. Oh, here we go. I use the shade 4.5, precisely my brow pencil. Nothing new here. I use the same brow products I've been using for about five years. I rarely ever switch it up. I did put the freeze, the brow freeze from Anastasia on my brows today. Ooh. On my brow today, because I'm still very much obsessed with that product. It's giving fluff. And be careful, you saw that my brow pencil broke. Be careful not to like extend it too high because you can break your tip just like that and go through your product. Um, but because I'm a benefit babe, I get backups every month. <laughs> so, but still respect your product so I can respect you. So I am going here and I like am super messy with my brows because I feel like the brow freeze does all the work. I love this whole thing. This like fluffy brow craze. All right, and then I'm gonna set the whole face with Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by, uh, who is this girl? Oh, this Charlotte. <laughs> and what I love about this one is that it locks this look in place, honey. She ain't transferring, she ain't moving. Y'all know I have a love-hate relationship with Charlotte. But she did something with this. All right, I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to come back. We're going to talk a little bit more. And then we're going to go pick up Sister Paston. Take her to dinner. Okay? Stay tuned. All right, I feel like the light is dimming outside, so I should turn on. Is this on? Is this thing on? No. Okay. So this is the full face. As far as lip, you know, I use my chestnut liner and Staycation from Huda Beauty. I probably would, probably would, I probably will put on Barely There. Um, I just don't want to right now because the wind is so strong and ain't nothing like having hair stuck in your lip gloss. So I combed my hair out. This is the final look. I absolutely love the finish thus far. Um, it is 508 in this place. We are about to leave it a little bit to go get mom go to dinner, have some girl time with her daughters, and just enjoy her. 65 years. My mother looks fire. Fire. Like, I'm going to put a picture of my mom right here. Happy birthday to you. Get it, girl. <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday. Fire. I could only aim to look like that at 65 years old. So it is time to go celebrate her, but also do a little wear test for you guys. Y'all, this foundation is curved. And this is a natural, this is a natural daylight. I was going to turn on my ring light, but let's keep it consistent over here. Y'all like this blue? Okay, let me get out. Let me get out of the house. Stop playing around. I will get back to you guys when I get back in the house with a bit of a wear test. Let you know how it stood up against the elements. Um, as well as being oily combination um, with a hybrid foundation such as this. So stay tuned. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, gems, we're back in the building. It's 11.37. Um, overall, the foundation is giving. <laughs> it's definitely giving. Um, I highly recommend it, you guys, once again. It's the Skin Advance NARS Foundation, the hybrid foundation that has active skincare properties along with foundation, like genius. As you can see, I don't even have like in my smile lines, it's not even like breaking up. My under eye, I'm trying to get as close to the camera as I can. Like you're still seeing the highlight, you're still seeing the healthy skin. 10 out of 10. Well, 9.5 because you always want these brands to keep achieving, you know, for greater and higher, you know, goals. <laughs> Nine and a half out of 10 for sure. NARS did that. Mm. So just for reference, I am D3. I'll annotate 
the shade below because I can't pronounce it. But overall, we're looking at over five and a half hours of wear. Maybe even more. I can't remember when I when I had it on. <laughs> Bo. But um, yeah, I am quite the fan. Not even in my nose. Like, you see a little bit of the oil trying to peek through. But overall, like, the finish is still very, very pretty. So, again, $40. Oh, will this go up before the VIB sale is over? I think I can get it up before the VIB sale so that you guys can get your hands on it. So whether you're 20%, 15%, or 10%, get your hands on it. But overall, really, really beautiful. Love it. Great finish. Um, very complimentary to my skin tone. I don't have any, like, breaking in the, in the color shading there, like my neck being darker than the rest of my face. It's really, really pretty. And I didn't even touch up my lip. I ate dinner so if you guys have any questions you know how i do sound off in the comment section below make sure you like share and subscribe and until our next video people say forever is a mighty long time i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i ain't really tripping if it mean that i'm holding